Welcome back to the Euro 2024 round of 16 predictions. Yesterday we did predictions for the first four games of this knockout stage. Today we've got four more games and they are big games, Sophie. Yeah, they are massive games. There's some really, really good ones in this video. Absolutely. You know the drill, guys. Make sure you are hitting that like button. 2,199 likes this time. Okay. Get involved. If you are sat there watching this video and you haven't hit that like button, then come on. Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already. It certainly helps us out, so please get involved. And let's get into the predictions, Sophie. We start with a big one. It's France versus Belgium. Two teams with so much quality, yeah. so many good players. But they have both underperformed so far. They've both not won their groups, yeah. and they were both expected to win their groups. Um, Belgium, Sophie, they got off to a terrible start because they <laughs> yeah. lost to oh, Slovakia. Yeah. They then beat Romania, but they finished with a 0-0 draw against Ukraine. And they've just about scraped through. And mm. um, if they would have lost that game, they would have gone out. Yeah. They take on France, Sophie, who started with a win against Austria. Then it was 0-0 against Netherlands. And then it was 1-1 against Poland. They've mm. only scored two goals and they've not scored a goal from open play. France are a little bit like England. They've not scored enough goals. They've not shown enough quality. Um, but can they start to play better now in the knockout stages? Um, it's a difficult one to call. Maybe mm. France are the favourites, but... Neither of them have been amazing so far. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think I'm um, a little bit more, I don't know, disappointed is a strong word, but underwhelmed by France. I almost expect it from Belgium, to be honest. It just seems that they've always got so many good players and they just never seem to get it clicking. And um, it almost seems like the fans are turning on the players at the end of last game and De Bruyne then shepherded everyone off like, no, do you know what, we're not even going to clap them. So that's not good. Um, when you don't even have the fans backing you at this point. So could that play something? I don't know. It could do. Um, what I will say is that between France and Belgium, there is a little bit of a rivalry. Obviously, the two nations border each other. Um, I think it's going to be a classic match of two teams that have lots of great players at their disposal, which really is an anti-climax. Um, I think on paper, France versus Belgium sounds really good, but I think Portugal v Slovenia could be a better game. Um, so I'm going to say a low scoring game. I think France, just because yeah. of the winner's mentality, will edge it. France, 1-0. Yeah, I agree with that. What we've seen so far, as a whole with this tournament, it's been quite low scoring, so I'm not going to go for anything daft like, oh, it could be like a... 3-2 just because of how many good players there are no it's going to be a lot it's going to be a lot more cagey it might that. finish 3-2 now yeah and I'll be like, oh turns out I don't know what I'm on about um, um yeah I'm going to agree with you and say 1-0 France I just feel like they've got enough about them to get it done Belgium's performance against Ukraine just uh, there wasn't enough there for me to be like you know what they're really fighting for this win they're throwing everything at it no but then equally yeah France against Poland they a bit of a similar tale I am still going to lean towards, I guess they would be the favourites, wouldn't they, France? Um, but not many goals for me, so yeah. 1-0. One one OK, we are both back in France to win 1-0. On to the next game then, Sophie, and it's Portugal versus Slovenia. Portugal, Sophie, they started their group really well with a last-minute win against Czech Republic and then a 3-0 win against Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, so they'd already won their group by the time they played Georgia, so... They didn't play their full strength team, so do take that with a pinch of a pinch of salt. As for Slovenia, Sophie, they snuck through in England's group with three draws, um, and I thought against England they were just pretty stubborn, but yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, decent, nothing emphatic, but they didn't need to be. They got the job done with draws, a little bit like Denmark. Well, a lot like Denmark, and um, I mean if they can't keep the same sort of game plan could they sneak maybe like a little one nil possibly yeah, possibly Can't rule it out yeah i think if slovenia play like they did against england against portugal they could take this to penalties or something um I'm going to say a couple of goals in this game. I think because it's Portugal, they're one of the more exciting teams at this tournament. They're going to score, but I also think they're going to concede. Okay. Um, I'd love to see Slovenia get through, but I've got to go with Portugal. 2-1. 
So I'm actually gonna say two nil. I think they might keep a clean sheet. For me, it depends on Slovenia's game plan. Are they going to, in a way, set up for a draw and then hit them on the counter? I don't know. I think that could work for them. If they play fairly open, I think they will get punished by Portugal. Yeah. And if they get forced into a couple of mistakes, and that is what I see happening. So I'm going to say Portugal 2-0. A few of the players for Portugal, mainly Ronaldo, they need to just keep their heads. And if Slovenia can really frustrate them, you never know. Like a red card might completely change the game. Portugal against Georgia got so frustrated and I think at points Ronaldo was lucky to not get sent off just for descent. So if they watch that and think okay do you know what we can play on this mm. I think that's their game plan sorted. Yeah. So if Portugal can keep their heads they've got the quality there to get the game done I am going to back them and as I say 2-0. Yeah well with Ronaldo we all know that if he doesn't get goals, he gets frustrated. Very frustrated, yeah. Um, that's all he thinks about, scoring goals. Okay, on to the next game. It's Romania versus Netherlands. And after Netherlands' performance in the group stages, there's a chance Romania could beat them. Uh, Romania topped their group. Fair play to them. Yeah. Uh, the, the best result was when they beat Ukraine 3-0. They then lost to Belgium. And then they played out a draw with Slovakia, which... <sighs> It felt towards the end that they were both happy with the draw, and that's fair what? enough. What do you mean? Yeah, but come on, they, they both knew. We Just, didn't I call that? We, we said it would be a 1-1 one, one draw. We did say that. And they'll both be happy with it. But we both mentioned it last time. We yeah. said that they both know that a draw is it's enough, enough yeah. and Romania got through. Uh, but they take on Netherlands, Sophie, and Netherlands lost to Austria. Now, Austria has been they good, good though, yeah. and we'll come on to them last in a minute. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. I think Netherlands could possibly mess up in this game. Mm -hmm. As for a prediction, uh, I'm going to go down the middle and say 1-1 one, one, and I will back Netherlands to just get through on penalties. I just have a feeling that Romania are going to make it so difficult but Netherlands are going to squeeze through. 1-1 one, one, Netherlands on penalties. So for me there's got to be at least one upset in the round of 16 and I've not predicted any yet so I'm going for Romania in this one. I'm going to back them to win. I'm going to say 2-1. Yeah. Again, I don't know if that's in 90 or 120, so that's a little bit of a cop-out. It could well be in 120. Um, but I do feel like if it gets to the later stages, I am leaning more towards Netherlands. So for me, if Romania to do it, wants to be in 90. Yeah. Um, because, again, um, Netherlands have got more players at, on disposal on their bench that they can bring on, see a game out. You've got workhorse, that's a bit of a cheat code. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Romania two one. Romania two yeah. one. There you go. And you're absolutely right. There's usually at least one upset. There's got to be one. Surely. There, there might be two. There might be two. On to the last game then, Sophie, and it's Austria versus Turkey. And I really like this game. I actually think this is probably one of the best games from the round of 16. Mm. Austria have been very impressive. They won a group that had France and Netherlands in it. And then as for Turkey, they got six points in their group. They beat yeah. Czech Republic. They beat Georgia. Um, so Turkey are no pushovers, mm -hmm. but I do make Austria slight favourites. Yeah, I actually agree. And I do feel like it's a little bit of a shame that these two are playing each other at this point because that means one of them will have to go out. And I would like to see both of them go at least one step further. I think Austria have got to be the favourites, the performances they've been putting in. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they went quite far, actually. They are looking really good. So I am going to back them to win. But then Turkey have looked quite good as well. So I think there could be a couple of goals in this one. I think so. I think Austria have been probably the best team that's not from the, the so-called the big, big six yeah. or eight. Um, so I am going to back Austria. But Turkey have been really impressive. And their fans... I mean, yeah. it seems like there's Turkish fans everywhere in Germany. Um, I'm going to go Austria 2, Turkey 1. Oh yeah, I'm going for the exact same, actually. Um, I was tempted to give Austria another goal, but I felt like that would be a little bit harsh on Turkey. So rather than saying 3-1, I'm going to agree. and I'm going to say 2-1 Austria. But yeah. I do see them doing it, and I could see them going quite far. 
Yeah, and what's weird with Turkey is in the two games they won against Czech Republic and Georgia, they were very good. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they lost to Portugal, they lost quite badly. Yeah, they just seemed um, to fall apart a little so bit. So they could potentially in this game, but we mm -hmm. think it will be close. Share your predictions down in the comments, guys. That wraps up the round of 16 games predicted by myself and Sophie. Get your predictions in and make sure to drop a like and subscribe. We will be back in three or four days when we have the quarterfinal to predict so make sure to join us for that thank you for joining me Sophie thank you we will see you in the next one peace out